So if you've been subbed to the channel for a while, you've probably seen a good amount of reviews on True Wireless earbuds. I mean, can you blame me? I love them and a lot of companies tend to reach out to me and want me to review them. Today we're going to be looking at a pretty unique pair of True Wireless earbuds and you'll even get a chance to win a pair for yourself. Obviously it's going to be a brand new pair, not the pair that I reviewed, that'd be pretty gross. But anyway, before we get started, the intro. What's up everyone, John here from Tech in the Budget. Before we get started, if you haven't already, do me a huge favor and click that bright red subscribe button down below. Doing so will give you one year of good luck, and if you hit that notification bell, you get an extra year of good luck. So uh, that's two years of good luck for subbing to the channel and clicking the bell, definitely worth it. So go ahead and do that right now. I'll wait. You done? Good. Now that you have two years of good luck, let's take a closer look at these earbuds. So these are the X2 earbuds by Kit Bees. When I first took out the earbuds, I was pretty amazed at how tiny they were. They're super light and compact, especially when I compare them to the Cobble Pearls that I reviewed way back when. This kind of worried me at first. Because they're so light, I thought they'd fly out of my ears during my workout, but I can confirm that they fit nicely in my ears and do not move as long as you find the right ear tips. Because they're in-ear, the bass on these are great and the sound is nice and clear. I don't know, I don't really have anything else to say about the sound quality of these headphones. They sound great, and they sound as good as you think they'd be. And I honestly think that it's harder to find headphones that sound bad because, I don't know, it's 2018, all headphones should sound good by now. Alright, so here's my first con about these headphones, and it kind of depends how you like your headphones, I guess. But my first con is that these things are really loud. For me personally, I can't even reach the halfway point of the volume slider without it getting uncomfortably loud and hurting my ears. Honestly, if you listen to this thing on full blast for like a minute, you probably go deaf. I can't hear you! Like I said, it's up to you if you find these earbuds being extremely loud as a pro or a con. But if you do get these earbuds, try not to listen to them on full volume. As for controls, there's not too many. You can play and pause your music and skip your track forward and that's about it. Most earbuds at this tier level allow you to control everything from the volume to even skipping backward by having each earbud have its own individual controls. Alright, so you probably already noticed, but the case to charge these earbuds are chunky, and there's a reason for that. Besides being able to charge your earbuds when they're not in use, it can also be used to charge your phone. James Bond style, the charger is hidden. If you take the top part off, you find a male micro USB connector. It's a 1600 milliamp hour battery, so it's probably not going to fully charge your phone, but it makes for a great emergency charger. Here's the thing though, if you don't have a phone that has a micro USB port, you have to use a dongle. Kitbees did pack in adapters for the iPhone and USB-C devices, but it just doesn't look as clean. I also feel that you're at a greater risk for damaging your device's port. I think this was a poor decision by Kitbees because everyone is making the transition to USB-C. Phones coming out now that are not made by Apple have USB-C ports. Hopefully, if they do decide to release an updated pair, they'll have a USB-C and iPhone option. So I already mentioned a few cons and unfortunately I have more. The call quality on this thing is horrible. I tried making a call to my girlfriend, emphasis on the word try, and she said that it sounded like it was laggy and it kept cutting off. I know it's not the actual call quality because on that same call, I immediately switched to the AirPods and everything sounded great. Honestly, all of the true wireless earbuds that I've tried that are not AirPods tend to not make very good calls, so I guess it was to be expected. Another con, and it actually surprised me because I never encountered it before, is that when you put these earbuds into the charger, they don't turn off. Every true wireless earbuds that I've tried that has a charging case turns off as soon as you put them in. It just makes sense, you can't listen to them while they're charging, and it just makes it simple to turn them off. So would I recommend these earbuds? Unfortunately not, especially at the price point of $60. You can find true wireless earbuds that have more controls and sound just as good for cheaper. Where the concept of the case is pretty cool where you can plug it straight into your device, it only works well if you have a phone with a micro USB port. Other true wireless earbuds like the Cobble Pros can also be used as a power bank and you just gotta plug in your own cable. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is a giveaway for these headphones that Kippies wanted to do. Now you might be wondering, John, why would I want to win these headphones? You just gave them a poor review. Well, for one thing, because it's free, duh. And two, for the sake of purely listening to music, these are not bad. 
Yeah, the features of the case fall short and the controls are lacking, but the connection quality is reliable and for listening to music, these are great. It's really the price that makes them a no-go for me, but if you win them, you won't have to worry about that. The rules are the same as all of my giveaways, there's going to be a Gleam link down below and you must be in the US to enter. And from there you'll be able to do things like subscribe to the channel, sub to me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, and a whole lot of other actions to gain entries. The more you do, the higher your chances of winning, so to everyone who enters, good luck. Alright, so what do you guys think of these headphones? Do you guys agree with the cons that I gave or am I just being a true wireless earbud snob? Either way, meet me down below in the comments and let me know. Now, we're at the end of the video, so you know what you gotta do. If you guys like the video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe right over here, and of course, click that notification bell so you can join the notification squad. Now, I'll catch you guys in the next video, and have a good one.